All right, shalom, shalom. First off, and from most always, I say, call like Ba Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, Ba Yahweh, Yahweh, and give them praise to the elder apostle for great no stone, that do rule and teach well. And of course, as always, I want to say, shalom to you, Anthony, my dear. Through the truth, through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, or Kakudash. All right, and shout out to the uh, the hundred and forty-four thousand, the elect. All right, so uh, this is going to be a quick lesson uh, based off an article on the source in time headlines at org. Okay, and uh, now the the uh, title says uh, MAGA air quotations MAGA prophet claims the Lord showed her the overthrow. Of the U.S. Uh, government in 2024. Okay, now first things first. Uh, a woman can't be a prophet. Man, a woman can't teach. Okay, according to scripture, a woman is not. Uh, her life is, is is not supposed to be, you know, uh, in, um, uh, in the stead of being a prophet. Her life to, you know, uh, be uh, be, you know, be meek. You know, be health meek. You know, to see children, you know, you know, tend to, you know, her uh, her husband, the children, you know, not to uh, teach in a separate authority over men. Okay, but being that we're in an upside down world, these women, you know, they've been given a uh, a uh, a temporal moment of freedom here in Babylon because of what Esau has done and and how he has set up society, you know. So a woman can't be a prophet, but in this article, she's supposedly a uh, she's uh you know uh, uh, in cahoots with you know the whole uh, the MAGA you know campaign, if you will. Okay, but this right here is uh you know this right here is prophetic because you know the scriptures speak about you know the Egyptian versus the Egyptians, you know, and who is the modern day Egyptians? You know the Edomites. Okay, because we're we're in in, in, in uh, Egypt all over again, you know, you know, and uh, these uh, uh, Edomites, you know, they're you know they they're the modern day Egyptians. Okay, you know, you you have the pyramid on the back of your dollar bill. Okay, they uh, these uh, these Edomites, these uh, these elites, you know, they're into that that dark magic and you know all that stuff in the left hand side, just like the Egyptians were, you know. So, so hey, man, you know, we're living in very beautiful times, okay? So, I'm going to read the headline one more time, and it says, the Ma it says, MAGA uh, prophet, quote-unquote, claims the Lord showed her the overthrow of the U.S. government in 2024. Okay, now, first things first that comes to mind is the book of Joel. Okay, the book of Joel uh, two. Get it real quick. Jewel two. And verse. Uh, what's that? Uh, Jewel two and verse twenty-eight. Okay, because it says, it says that she uh, she claims that that uh, you know the Lord Yahweh Shemal Shai, you know, showed her this. Okay, so what's that? You know, that's a uh, she received the vision, if you will. Okay, now let's head to the book of Joel, chapter 2, and verse 28, and it says, Meshach come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, right? And the sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall, shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions, okay? Right, so, you know, the, the Lord can easily do that. You know, there's, there's countless, you know, videos, okay, of people, you know, having visions of the return of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, okay? There's countless videos of people, you know, talking about the MOTB, okay? So the Lord is, is constantly, you know, putting his spirit upon these people's, you know, flesh, you know, and, 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 uh, and sending them messages. But then, you know, there are, you know, there are, there are the sleep, Okay? 
you know, and guess what too, you know, uh, you know, us brothers, that's the truth, you know, you know, brothers have had visions, you know, the family members, okay, so things are, you know, stirring up, the Lord is doing things on here, okay, verse 29, it says, and also upon the servants and upon, and upon the handmaids in those days, my poor on my spirit, okay, and guess what? This uh, this, this uh, so-called maga prophet, <laughs> this woman, because she she says that the Lord showed her the overthrow, okay, of the U.S. government, okay, in 2024, okay, and, and guess what? Okay, 2024 is a hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. You see, deemed that was deemed by the elder prophet Sahara in the spirit, man. Okay, so so hey, man, so we are uh, the living in beautiful times. You know, and people don't realize that we are truly on the the eve of destruction. We are on the brink of the overthrow of Babylon. Okay, this is the book of Isaiah nineteen and verse one, and it says, "The burden of Egypt. Behold, the Lord the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud, and shall come into Egypt." Right, that swift cloud is what. We're talking about a so-called UFO, a chariot. You see, a chariot that 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 Esau knows is real. Okay, the, the cat is out the back. Okay, and which of those chariots is going to be, you know, our, our way out of here, We're going to be delivered, to be beamed up. Okay, and it says, uh, "Shall come into Egypt, right?" So talking about Babylon. Okay, and it says, "And the idols of Egypt shall shall be moved at his presence." And the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it, right? Verse two, right? So, so these idols, you know, these uh, false idols, these uh, these uh, these uh, um, you have uh, statues out here that has to be destroyed. You know, you have uh, people people that worship these these uh, these man-made sculptures and these idols. You know, the Lord is going to destroy them, okay? Because those are nothing more than you know, you know, false deity. You know, and 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 uh, guess what? You have about shy. Is the true living God, you see? Verse 2 that says, Here's the point, and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, right? And they shall fight everyone against his brother, you see? So, so uh, you know, Babylon, okay, is is uh heading into a a civil war 2.0, okay? Because just like the, the scriptures say, you know, it's, it's going to be sedition amongst men. It's going to be, you know, Egyptian versus Egyptian, okay? And right here in this article, it says, uh, and really, you know, all you need is the headline, you know? I was going to read a little bit, but, you know, you know, really, if you read it, all you need, all, like, all you truly need is, like, the first pro like the first two paragraphs, if you will, but really, all the meat itself is within the title of this article, you know? But, you know, Lord's Wolf, if I uh, remember, I'll put the... Uh, the article in the uh in the uh description so that way you know if you want to read it you can you know on your own free time okay but yeah man you know this place is gearing towards you know an uh, overthrow within itself you see that's why how the says if Satan cast out Satan you know how then shall his kingdom stand you see pursuing the book of Matthew the twelfth chapter so back in Isaiah nineteen and verse two when it says and I will set the Egyptian against the Egyptian, the Egyptians, and they shall fight every one against his brother, and every one against his neighbor, city against city. Right? You're gonna have, you know, different states, you know, different cities, you know, fighting each other, you know. And and they show you that, you know, movies like Bushwick, you know, The Purge Forever, right? So, hey man, <laughs> it's it's about to get spicy out here. <laughs> You know, hey, call love you about your mouth shot. All right. And it says city against city and kingdom against kingdom. Okay, so hey man, Babylon's divided, you know. This place is done, you know, and this place is crumbling from the inside out. Okay? So there's only a matter of time until shit goes sour, until shit goes left. All right. This is the book of Second Ezra. Chapter 15 and verse 16. And it says, 
for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. Okay, now where sedition it means uh basically let's actually let's get it real quick. Just for education's sake. Okay. The word sedition of the online uh, the online etymology, it means a rebellion, an uprising, a revolt. Okay, and it says um it says uh, violent strife between factions, civil or civil or religious disorder, a riot, a rebelliousness. Okay, and you know, and that reminds me of uh, when Babylon, you know, uh, uh, declared independence from Britain. You know, Babylon being that little horn, excuse me, that little horn. Okay, that that uh, you know came that that came about. You know, uh, in the time of uh, um, 1776, okay, and that's spoken about in the book of Daniel, the seventh chapter, okay, and and actually, let's get that real quick. It's just for education's sake, of course. All right, I'm gonna go back to uh, second address real quick, but real quick, let's get this in Daniel. Let's see, yep. This is uh, Daniel 7 and verse 8, and it says, I considered the horns, and behold, there came up among them another little horn. Right, and that little horn is talking about, uh, uh, you know, Babylon, you know. Babylon, you know, it, it, you know, it came out, you know, and it sprouted to being this great country, you see. But this great country is about to fall soon, according to biblical, you know, prophecy. Okay, and it says... And there came up among them another little horn, before, before whom there were three of the first horns plucked up by the roots. Okay, and the, those three horns talk about the, the British, the uh, the French, and uh, the uh, the Spanish. Okay, and it says, uh, and behold, in his horn were eyes like the eyes of man, and a mouth speaking great things. You see? So that little horn being Babylon, you know, it, you know, it came up, you know, and and hey, Bab it, hey, those uh, these uh, the Edomites, those American Edomites, you know, that we you know call today, you know, they uh declared the uh the uh their uh declaration of independence, you know, it came out of Britain, you see, so that let that little horn, all right, uh, is is Babylon, okay. And just like how that little horn came out of Britain, you know, that was that was them, you know, uh, fighting Britain to declare their independence. You see, so basically that was what? A civil war. Esau versus Esau. You see? And now that's why it's going to be another civil war 2.0 because we're going to have these uh, these modern day Americans, you know, uh, over, you know, overthrow, you know, and fight their government. You see? And that's why. The scriptures say is going to be sedition amongst men, and going and going back to that the meaning of that word, it means a, a uprising, a revolt. Okay, and it says a a uh, a uh, concerted attempt to overthrow civil authority, and that's what they want to do. That's that's what the people want to do. And that's what they're gonna do because it's, it's privacy. Okay, and soon privacy is, is gonna become our uh, these people's reality out here. All right. So back in Second Edges 15 and verse 6, and it says, For there shall be sedition uh, among men and invading one another, right? They shall not regard their kings nor their nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. You see, right? So, so they're going to become the new authority, you know, the people, okay? The people are going to become the new mayors and you know, but and and, and, and how they're gonna you know do that by taking over, you see, by actually going, you know, uh, hand to hand combat and you know, uh, you know, all out war with you know the uh the ruling government, okay, with their, with the uh you know uh, uh these the, the these higher ups people, you know that are uh run, running the society, you see. This is the book of uh, Jeremiah 30 and verse 7. And it says, Alas, for that day is great, for that none is like it. It is even the time when Jacob's trouble. 
then he shall be saved out of it, right, man, the time of Jacob's trouble, you know, but also, just, just like the Apostle Sahara always says, uh, even though it's Jacob's trouble, but guess what, it's going to be eating my trouble as well, you see, because even though Jake going to get judged too, but Jacob's trouble is going to be on the soil of Babylon, you know, and Babylon is uh, Esau's, you know, a uh, uh, homestead, his home front, if you will, you know, so Esau, he's not, he's not exempt either, you see, but it says, but he shall be saved out of it, right? Meaning what? Meaning the elect, the elect are, are, are going to be saved out of, you know, you know, destruction, saved out of distress, everything, okay? You know, because they're, you know, these, the elect has been, you know, uh, uh, um, chosen before the foundation of the earth, you see? So the Lord has already got it, you know, planned out, you know, on who he's going to deliver, Okay. So that being said, I just going to say, call a lie, by Kakodash, the Bahan is being to the other apostles, the great millstone that do rule and teach well. And Lord's will, you uh you edified through the spirit of power of God by Shimon Shai. Alright, and with that being said, call one.